Hey there folks, Santee the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Myth versus reality, soil doves and saloon girls. <laughs> My favorite subject. Roll film. This subject is a prime example of how Hollywood's version of the history affects our understanding. Sex and booze tend to go hand in hand and have been a pair for thousands of years. For just as long, people have been making money off of that pairing. It might surprise you to know that not all these jobs on the wild frontier required prostitution. Hollywood would have us believe that any woman working in a drinking establishment was selling her body. This is incorrect. There were dance halls where you could dance with ladies. If you were fortunate, you would see girls performing on a stage with a musical instrument called a hurdy-gurdy, which was a cross between a violin and a bagpipe. After their number, they would come down to spend time with the male patrons. These women were typically not in the sex trade. They didn't need to go that far, and they could pull in more money than a fallen angel. Ladies and gentlemen, with Dolly Matthews right here now. Dolly, where do you work? Oh, at the Grand Palace Saloon right over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great, great. And uh, you're a saloon girl, right? Mm -hmm. You're a saloon hostess and you yeah. dance and all that stuff. Absolutely. Uh, tell me something. Do you, do you ever do anything on the side, if you know what I mean, for a little extra money? You know what I mean? You know, but, anyway, uh, um, uh, I'm going to talk to you later, okay? Oh, oh, okay. All right. Well, it's nice talking to you. Don't yeah, worry. thanks. Saloon girls encouraged you to buy drinks, which made the establishment more money. You could also buy the girls' drinks at the same price, but the bartender made sure it was tea so the girls wouldn't get inebriated. A dance ticket would be purchased which gave you about 15 minutes with the girl of your choice. The women were not allowed to leave the building with the men. Now, you might be thinking, this sounds like trouble waiting to happen. Women, men, alcohol, touching. Yeah, it, it was. Men got rowdy and handsy. The ladies frequently carried a weapon on them in case things got out of control. As you would expect, they did. I found newspaper articles mentioning violence surrounding dance halls. The female society ladies didn't look favorably on dance hall girls, often putting them in the same class as a prostitute. Pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, cheap, 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 talk a lot, pick a little more. Well, that's understandable. These workers were showing off a lot of skin for the time. The frilly, colorful dresses exposed shoulders and a good amount of leg. Also, some bosom was revealed. Kate, you're not wearing a bustle. How lewd. Soiled doves had all these obstacles to deal with on top of disease, drug addiction, emotion, and physical trauma. They also did their work in small rooms called cribs or, if luckier, a higher class brothel or parlor. Many never left that career alive. As I mentioned, the saloon gals were pulling in some good money. One Montana paper tells us they were earning about $15 to $17 a week on top of a 20% commission from each drink. Not bad when you consider a carpenter was making about three dollars a day. Pardon me. Well now I have a couple of dance hall sweethearts here. How you all doing? I'm doing good. Honey. And you all work over there at the Grand Palace, right? Right over there. That's our building. Right oh, that's on great. That stage. Yeah. Well, so tell me. I understand that. Uh, do you guys get compensated well for the job that you do? Do you get paid Honestly, well? Pretty well. I can't complain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now part of it is getting people to buy drinks too, right? Makes our show a lot better, I will say that. Oh, is that right? Okay. <laughs> that is all right. right, indeed. Well, thank you, ladies, and I'll <laughs> let you get back to work, all right? Be all good right, now. Bye-bye. Okay. By the turn of the century, pressure was mounting for the closing of dance halls. Interestingly, brothels were still around, and today, they are legal in only one American state. Texas has a whorehouse in it! No, Nevada. In the future, we'll do a Dressing the Part episode on these girls. Don't worry, I won't be modeling the clothing. I think. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. As always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail.